Coming up the men's 100 meters and uh, official times waited eagerly for the women's 100. Andre Wellington, Julian Dunkley, Asafa Powell, Michael Freita, world record holder Usain Bolt, Nesta Carter, Marvin Anderson, and Dwight Bigger Thomas. One thing to say, my expectation, as discussed with Wayne Walker earlier today, I expect a race of 985 or better tonight in the stadium. Let's see, 10 8 0 on the clock downstairs with the women's 100 on screen. World Junior Champion at 200 meters and World Youth Champion and Pan Am Champion at 200 has turned his attention to the 100 this season with devastating effect. Hubert, a wider perspective, six of the finalists are coached here in Jamaica. Two of those six are the two fastest men ever in the world at 100 meters. We are in the driver's seat for the sprint relay at the Olympics. We are in the driver's seat for the sprint 100 meter race at the Olympics. On screen, Andre Wellington, former Casey Sprinter, class two double sprint champion, won the class 300 twice, Andre Wellington. Julian Dunkley, 10 0 a couple of years ago, 10 0 7 high altitude this season. Asafa Powell, 35 sub 10 100 meter races and five of the races under 980. Michael Freiter, World Silver 2005 Pan Am champion, his brother also Olympic semi finalist. Usain Bolt, former 200 400 man, but now definitely the fastest man on earth at 9.72. Usain Bolt. Nesta Carter, third leg man on the world champs last year, 10 0 4, I believe, in the semi finals. Marvin Anderson, uh, dominated champs 2001 for St. Diego, world champs finals at 200, grand leader for Jamaica last year in Osaka. And on the outside, Dwight Bigger Thomas, his personal best 10.00, has recovered from a mid season injury. He a uh, Commonwealth finalist in the 100 meters. As you take a look at the athletes there, you'll be one athlete is standing with the look of a Linford Christie staring down the track, and as you see in Bolt, very calm, sign of confidence. The world record 972 Usain Bolt, the second fastest time 974 by Asafa Powell. Between them they've got seven of the eight fastest times in history, John. Yes, interesting. And let us not forget Freta, who is our silver medalist at the World Championships. Let's line up one more Olympics. time. Wellington, Dunkley, Powell, Freta, Bolt, Carter, Anderson, and Dwight Thomas. The grandstand, very full. They've all come to watch the hundred. The bleachers, nicely full for, and there are some of the fans in the grandstand. They've come out to watch this race. Shot! Stand up! Dwight Thomas, the little finger up to the grandstand, asking the fans to be quiet. He trying to get perfect conditions. He has made some improvements during the start and hopes to get to 40 meters in touch with the field. Yes, he, he finishes very well, but he's, he, his, his problem has always been his inconsistent start. Jermaine, Asafa Powell walking back, what's he thinking? My fear with that just now, it may count as having the effect of a false start, you know. I, exp I wanted them to just have gone down, right, up and go, mic, one mic, go. Mic. But that now may, may just pull back the quick starters like Asafa, just a bit. The false starts oh, never. No, That's Asafa Powell there. I've watched the 976, 972, false starts and interruptions in those races. None of them affected the same boat. None. Here's the lineup one more time. Wellington, Dunkley, Powell, Freiter, Bolt, Carter, Anderson and Dwight Thomas close to us. Thomas, 1999, Junior Pan Am champion, 100 and 200, 10 0 0, his personal best. Stadium goes quiet now. Shot! It's a little shake at the start. Thomas, fall started. My point exactly, yes. Hubert. That, that first mishap plays on the minds of the athletes and now you have an actual false start. It's going to hold everyone in the blocks and that's going to affect a fast starter like a surfer. Looks like maybe Marvin Anderson twitched in the blocks beside Dwight. Dwight then 
shakes in the blocks, John, and uh, that creates a false start. So the entire field now debited with a false start. Yeah. That's the rule. We might not like it, but that's the rule. The next man who jumps is out. Exactly. The nerves, the nerves down there must be razor. So, and I point it out again, not to break it, he will be the calmest man in the field, thus, you're seeing Bolt. Yeah. Start interruptions, hurt fast starters. Come here, come here, one minute, come on. So, start that's a interruptions, good for Bolt. And, uh, of course, one shocker already for the evening, Veronica Campbell Brown, fourth in women's 100 meters, and so, outside of a qualifying place for the individual 100 meters, and so, the fans still wobbling with that. Well, only in Jamaica, Hubert. Only in, the, in Jamaica. That's a star for Powell now. The world champion, Veronica Campbell Brown. We spoke about her a while ago. This man, for three years, a world record holder. Got the world record to Jamaica at 977 Athens in June in the year 2005. You know, the second fast man of all time. A lane, a two away from him. The world record holder now, Usain Bolt. The men's 100 meters. The Jamaican record is the world record, 972. It's been that way since June 2005. Wellington, Dunkley, Powell, Freighter, Bolt, Carter, Anderson, and Thomas. Thomas false started, doesn't matter. The entire field under false start caution. Anyone who false starts now is out. The wind slightly behind them. White flag telling you that tale. Shot! Clean start that time. A great start for a South Paul and Lane Floyd. Powell and Bolt going well. It's a great start by Usain Bolt. Paul going with him. It's Bolt and Powell. It's Bolt and Powell looking across at each other. I've got nine, nine on my clock with uh, Bolt and Powell. Powell loses his first national chance final for several seasons now. Bolt undefeated in six 100 meter races. The time on official at 9.9. .9. And uh, they said they wouldn't race. And they, they didn't, didn't race. Uh, I'm waiting. There was. Here's a second look at it. A very there good was. start for Usain Bolt in the white best and on the inside. Powell out quite nicely as well, but it's Powell still in the drive phase, but Bolt is up and running fast already. And when Powell looks up and sees him, they just decide, looks across and uh, make an assessment. Michael Freighter coming in for third. So it's Bolt, Powell, Freighter, and Anderson, the top four. I'll say this much, going into Beijing Olympics, and I can stand up to what I say, Usain Bolt has the physical and mental advantage of all the starters who are going to face them in the finals, if he runs 100 in Beijing. Why am I saying that? It's clear that Usain's start is improving, and after 30 meters, he's hard to beat. Here's another look at it. Bolt in the white, gets up nicely, gets up to the drive phase before Asafa Powell does it. Asafa still has his head down. When Asafa comes up out to the drive phase, he runs comfortably for the next few steps. You see him take a check across that Bolt to see where Bolt is, and the two of them cruise into qualifying with Freighter third and Marvin Anderson fourth. Yubi, as we're going to see this race over and over, you're going to realize that it didn't take your scene long. The crowd buzzing with yeah, activity. In that order, uh, you saying Asafa, a stern test, but you're the world record holder at the moment. Tell me about the race. You you were playing it down, both of you, that don't look for a clash, but you guys run like hell tonight. I want to say that, you know, as you can see, Asafa stopped running about 80 meters out. We just went out there, said earlier, just to qualify. We got out, we have to run the first part of the race, obviously, so that was the interesting part, but uh, we went out there just to qualify. Safa, you kept saying what you wanted to do was to qualify for the Olympic Games. Um, you've done that Being tonight, you don't put a lot of weight on this defeat? No, because, um, you know, I was playing it safe. You know, I'm sure Jamaica would rather see us, see me at the Olympic Games, um, you know, going up against each other. So, you know, I just played it safe tonight. Uh, when you said Bolt broke the world record, he said to us that you congratulated him privately. I'm sure you want to it now to say congratulations on taking my world record and I want it back. <laughs> yeah, um, yesterday I, I told him thanks you know, for taking the pressure off me. <laughs> so, you know, I just want to congratulate him and um, I really respect him and, 
you know, we both are friends, so we're going to keep it that way. Yeah. You're saying a, a lot of people have been talking about this clash, but what a lot of people don't know is that you, you, you guys are good friends as well. Well, yes, definitely. We're good friends. I've been telling everybody so far that there won't be really a clash here. We're just coming here to qualify. I've been saying that from about three weeks back. So I guess the girls are a little bit disappointed, but I actually told them. Well, gentlemen, turns your to Beijing as, as the two biggies. Tyson Gay today ran 9.77 seconds in the semi-final in the USA. The heat is on. Well, you know, we see how it goes for the Olympic Games. You know, this is just a start. And congratulations, particularly to you, Mr. Bolt. Thanks, thanks.